Hello everyone, in this video we will learn how to post new MailChimp campaigns to your Facebook page. So in this video we will learn the integration between the two applications that is MailChimp and Facebook in such a way that whenever you create a new campaign in your MailChimp account, it will be used to create a post on your Facebook page. So in this automation that we are going to create using Pabli Connect, our trigger will be the new campaign in MailChimp and our action will be to create a page post on your Facebook. Let us learn how to do that. So in this video, we will learn that how can you create a post in your Facebook page, any specific pa Facebook page using the campaigns that you can create in your MailChimp. So let us quickly sign in into the automation software Pabli so that I can reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli. And we are going to use Pabli Connect to connect the two applications MailChimp and Facebook today. Click on access now, which will take you to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. And reaching here, you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as post new MailChimp campaigns to Facebook page. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you. You will see trigger and action windows for you in the beginning that you can add more action windows by clicking on this plus button. So now trigger it says when this happens and action says do this. Before understanding the functioning of these two windows, make sure that you have opened your MailChimp dashboard and your Facebook page wherever you want to create a post. So going back to our workflow, our trigger application is going to be the one where the event will take place first. That is we will be creating a campaign in MailChimp and then only a post will be created in Facebook. So our trigger application is MailChimp and the trigger event will be a new campaign. Now Pabli Connect provides us with this webhook URL which we are supposed to use to connect MailChimp and Pabli Connect or any trigger application can be connected to Pabli Connect in this way. So how are you going to use this URL? The instructions are given over here. So let us follow these instructions and connect MailChimp and Pabli Connect in such a way that every time a new campaign will be created over here, Pabli Connect will receive a response where it's written capture webhook response right here. This will be activated once you copy this webhook from here. So first of all, go to your audience page and select the audience which, for which you want to create a campaign. For example, I want to do it for all my contacts. So when the all contacts page opens up, go to settings and then go to webhooks in the end. Reaching here, you will see the list of all the webhooks that might be created for different purposes. Click on create new webhook and then here you will be entering your webhook URL given to you in the workflow. Once you copy it, you see it starts waiting for a response. Going back to our MailChimp, paste right here and then to select all the other options, only select the one that is campaign send me and then select only send updates when a change is made by a subscriber, account admin or API. Click on save and they are connected. So the connection has been done. All right, the webhook has been connected over here. Now it's still waiting for a response. This is the sample response received because no campaign was created. So you will recapture the response. Now it's waiting for you to create a campaign. So let us create a sample campaign over here. Go to campaigns and then create a campaign right here. You can select your own type of campaign that you want. If you want to build a landing page, I would prefer designing an email. Click on design email and then over here, do the needed changes to all the subscribed contacts and from this email address that belongs to your account. What is the subject? So you can add a subject over here. The subject is contest. My campaign is about a contest that is organized by my own company. Preview text so you can also write over here the description of what is going to be the detail about the contest. This is the detail. Click on save. Now for the content, design an email. You will get a different types of templates over here that you can use to create your email. I'm going to use one column, a basic one over here because we won't be needing any images for this one. We are just giving information about the contest that we are going to conduct. So here we have a very simple one. A logo can be given over here. If you want to remove the logo, it's fine. No issues, but you can give a heading right here. So click on this edit option and here you can make the changes required for your content. Save and close. I have given the data, the title is also there and the description are also here. So click on continue and here you have created a mail. Now see, it's all done. The send button is also now activated. So click on send. You can also come back over here. It's still waiting for a response. Once you send it, that you are about to send this to two subscribers that are in your account, send now. 
because this is just a dummy one and once it is sent okay when you come back here you will see you'll receive the response here is the response contest for the customers and the status says sent all right so over here it is so now you're going to use this information to create a post in your facebook page so close this window and now action will be facebook our action application so choose facebook pages over here because you are going to create a post in your facebook page the event is to create page post click on connect add new connection connect with facebook page now if you remember i told you about opening your facebook and mailchimp over here so it will automatically detect its presence you just have to stretch it a little bit for that yeah it's here and now continue as the account that you might have opened and it has given access to Pabli Connect. It's connected. Now you have to choose the page. So what is the name of the page you're working upon? It's Pabli Tech. So I'm going to find over here Pabli Tech. This is the page I want this post to be created on. What is the message? The message you can map from here. It's the contest. So okay. So I have created this message. It's the title contest for the customers and they're supposed to check it on the website. This is done. Link is not needed because there is no link actually in our response. And moreover, we are not attaching picture with it. All right. So once this is done, click on save and send test request. And your response is here. It gives the ID of the post that has been created. The good part over here is even if there is no more information about the response, we have no error also received over here. Close this window, go to Facebook and over here you can refresh your page. And then you will see, yeah contest for the customers and they are requested to check this is the content that we just created and it's it has posted just now you can see the date and time also so which means that our workflow has been a success you can add or subtract more details according to the need of your campaign this was just a dummy campaign that was created for you to understand how can you integrate mailchimp and facebook pages so this was the whole workflow i hope this helped not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.